What's going down everybody? It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman, chilling like a villain, hanging out in the studio, doing the same old shit, working on RC cars, editing videos, editing pictures, watching my little man, just hanging with the wife, you know, living the life. That was like a rhyme, I didn't mean to do that. Anyways, my wife just went to get some burgers, I'm starving, it's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon almost, haven't eaten yet, my little man's watching some cartoons, and that gives me like 10 minutes or something real quick. I'm gonna knock out this video. I've got a box showed up the other day from A Main, and uh, I wanna I wanna open it up, show you guys what's in there, and I kind of wanna see if you can guess what this new project's gonna be. This is a project I've wanted to do for a long, long time, and I'm still not 100% sure I'll be able to pull it off, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, that being said, leave a comment down below right now. Let me know what you think my next project's gonna be, and I'm not talking about projects I already have that I'm gonna finish talking about a brand new project I am starting brand new brand new all right let's uh let's go over the bench see what we've got in this box all right you guys look you can already see it's a decent sized box man like, this isn't ouch still my toe it is a decent sized box I am uh I'm actually pretty excited about this so obviously there's gonna be a couple of things in here um it's not a huge box so it's not gonna it's not like I got like a big brand new fist scale RC car or something like that but there's there's some stuff in here oh, what is this do we got a little man peeking in here what are you doing what's on your face bro what's on your face you want to do it no come on come over here you want to help me out yeah come on come help me out you want to help open this box with papa oh, yeah. uh. Just for a minute, okay? We're gonna scoot you down here, like this, okay? All right, hold it right there, okay? Right there. All right. So Tuan is my new cameraman. Well, you, you gotta look at me. Look at me, up here. So Tuan's gonna be my new cameraman right now. He is gonna help me film this, and uh, yeah, so bear with me, bear with me. It might be a little, Bumpy. It might be a little crooked. It's okay. We got a two-year-old running the camera. Let's see if we can pull this off. All right. You ready, Twan? I'm going to open the box, all right? You watch me open the box. Here we go. Here is our box from A-Main Hobbies. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get out our X-Acto knife. Remember, watch on there. Lift it up high. There you go. We're going to watch on here. We're going to open this box. Here we go. Look at this, Twan. Open the box just like that. Now let's see, what do we got in this box? Whoa. Whoa. Alright, here we go. Okay, well obviously that didn't work. Uh, <laughs> a little man, he still needs some training in the camera department. We'll get him there though. That being said, let's go ahead and uh, dive back into this and get this unboxed and knocked out real quick. It was fun though, right? You gotta love the kids. All right, so first up, we've got this RC four wheel drive wired winch control unit. Uh, these have been around forever. You guys know all about these. Super simple. It's just basically an ESC, uh, low power. It's meant for controlling your winch. Plug and play pretty much. Super simple stuff. Uh, if you don't have a third channel though, um, three, with the three position setup, um, you wouldn't be able to use it, I don't think. And I think you have to have that, or at least a programmable for the channel. Next up, we've got these SSD wheels. These are the eight hole uh, chrome wheels from SSD. Um, this might give you a little insight into where this is going. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I also have a black pair of them, so I'm, I did that for a reason. I'm still, still up in the air. Um, all right, we've got, obviously, another set. Boom, there we go. Gotta have the full set, that way we can do the spare, all that good stuff, right? Um, I don't know, it just depends. I'm not sure if we'll go chrome and then have to paint a black one chrome, or if we'll go black and then have to paint a chrome one black. 
I'm not sure yet. We'll see though. Uh, next up, what do we have in this box? Naturally, after your wheels, you gotta have some tires. Uh, class one BFG. Uh, these are the Mud Train TA KM3s, blue labels, 4.19 OD. Uh, obviously, they're 1.9s. So these are the G8 Rock Train tires. Um, they're these are these are goods, man. These are the orange dots. Uh, I like these ones. I like these ones. I'm a fan of these tires. These are the same tires that I have on these. SSD wheels up here. So I, I dig those. Uh, let's see. Is there another pack? I think there's another pack of those. Yes, there is. One more pack of those. Obviously, you need four. You gotta have four. So set those aside. Stoked on that. Shout out to A Main. I, uh, I've been rocking with A Main for quite a while now, guys. So I'm pretty stoked on this. Let's see. What do we have in here? Look at this bag in here. It's got some stuff in it. I see a Vanquish logo poking through there. Let's see. Let's, let's see. Let's check out what is the Vanquish item. Ooh, first up, we've got the Vanquish uh, Curry Anti Rock Sway Bars. Um, V2. These are for the Yeti, but you guys know me. I like these. I use them on a lot of things, including on the XJ. I have these in the front, actually. on front of the XJ. I don't know if you guys can see them up in there somewhere. There they are. Yeah. I like these, man. These things are slick. Alright, so. Stoked. Stoked on that. I always try to get a set of those whenever I'm doing a build. Uh, they just, you know, they just add to it uh, functionality and just they look dope, too. Um, we've got these to go with the SSD wheels. These are those, uh, the center caps. I don't know if you guys can see those very well, but they're basically just chrome center caps. Um, they bolt onto the SSD wheels right in the center. Yeah. It just helps when you put the scale hub on there, you know. It just looks a lot better. What else we got here? We have, ooh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, Red Dog? Red Dog or Rude Dog, I'm not really sure, but this is a receiver from them. Um, I call it the RR482. It's a, it's a 2.4 gigahertz four channel FHSS4 receiver. Um, basically what this is, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Basically what this is, is a uh, Sanwa receiver. Um, it's compatible with all the Sanwa uh, FHS uh, SS for yada yada receivers um, but it's not as expensive so I'm getting this to try this out to see if it functions any different than the Sanwa ones that I have which if you guys don't know by now I'm a big fan of the Sanwa I've got all these different radios that I've got sitting down here and even more and uh, this is my favorite one so far out of all of them. This is an MT44. You can see it's getting beat on. I actually got this from A-Main um, like a year or two ago. And it's it runs several of my trucks. I really wish I had more of these. I could use two or three of these bad things. Like, or the, two or three of these bad things. Two or three of these bad boys. I really, really just enjoy these radios. They, uh, they function well. They never have interference. They're they're like amazingly programmable. Um, they fit my big hands really well. Uh, I can, you know, easily get a thumb on there. If you guys don't know, I film and drive, so now you can see how I do that. Imagine me driving the truck, right? Whatever, right? Reverse back, left, right. You know, winch, whatever. I could do almost everything, right, with one hand, um, except for run this dial right here, which is on the other side. Um, they have another one though where the thing's on this side. So then I'd be able to do everything one handed if I had that one. And um, I never had to put the camera down in order to winch or nothing. So that's why I'm a big fan of this uh, San Juan radio. And I'm a big fan of their receivers, but they're like a hundred bucks a piece. And you know, when you got like 20 something trucks, like 30 trucks, that's, uh, yeah, that's a lot of money. I'm not gonna spend three grand on receivers. So. Yeah, try to find budget ways to handle that. What else we got here? We've got scale rear hubs from SSD. These are the black ones. If 
you guys don't know about the black ones, these things are uh, super clean. They're like a satin finish. Really nice. I like these. I like those a lot. Um, what else we got here? There's more stuff for us. We're not done. Uh, we've got these. Ooh, wee. These are uh, some steel disc brakes. Dang. Look at them shits. These are heavy. Like these are actually weights from SSD. Still break rotor weights, two of them in here. These are like chunky, dude. I can feel the weight on those. Big fan, big fan of those. Wow, yeah, I like those. Um, what else we got? Got another set. Uh, that is awesome, I didn't realize I got two. I thought maybe I'd only got them for the front. Looks like I got a full set. I'm excited, dude. I like, I like wheels and tires, man. I'm a big fan of wheels and tires. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the scale locking uh, red hubs. These are the front ones. As you can see, they are red. I like the red ones for some reason. They're the same ones that I put on the XJ, which I'm now missing one, I think, on the other side over here, which is kind of a bummer. But I got these. Let's see, do I have any more? I got two sets, nice. So I can replace the ones on the XJ if I need to awesome and I've got this other set of uh, chrome wheel center caps to go with those chrome wheels how dope is that I like that now obviously that leads us to the uh, final thing here that we need to pull out the box and that is what is all this stuff going on why would I get this stuff um, well, it's for you guys to figure out what the build is, but I will show you what I'm going to use for a base. I'm curious what you guys think I'm going to use. Um, you know, am I going to use like a TF2? Am I going to use like a, you know, like a G made? Am I going to use uh, another axial? Am I going to go to Traxxas for once? Uh, what could it be? You know, what could it be? Am I going to use like a, I don't know. There's so many things I could use out there. There's so many options, right? What is in this box? All right, drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm just gonna let it flop out. Boom! SSD Trail King. There she is. Builder's kit. 110 scale, four wheel drive. Um, super detailed. It's got like the scale engine and transmission, four link setup. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked on this. Pretty stoked. These axles look pretty cool. Um, I don't have a lot of, you know, history with any trail or trail king with any SSD products. Ran some wheels and stuff, or ran a few other things like hubs. Nothing major, you know. Um, but this, this. This is got my attention. Uh, I wanted to use this for several reasons. One, I like the motor layout, super simple. I like the tranny layout, super simple. I know it's um, the plastic one, it's not the metal housing, but that doesn't bother me too much. Um, I am just more more or less uh, just digging this layout. It's, it's kind of like what I feel like Axial should have did right from the get-go, and they didn't. <laughs> but I think this will make a good base for the build that I want to do. One thing that I don't like though, I can tell you right now, is this. I'm not a fan of this big box just being right here. Yeah, so that probably won't be there. That'll probably get relocated somewhere else, maybe underneath in the back or something, I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's a fuel cell is what it looks like. Yeah, so it's probably for your receiver, electronics, things like that. But yeah, so that's the that's, that's probably going to get moved. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Um, point is, we've got an SSD Trail King in the building thanks to A-Main. I'm super excited about this. I cannot wait to actually get this put together. And um, the, the, the problem is there's no body. I'm sure you guys noticed there's no body yet. So uh, I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of a quiz. What am I going to build? You know what? What's the mission with this? Where am I going with this? What kind of body am I going to put on here? Is it going to be like a Land Rover? Is it going to be a Jeep? Is it going to be a Toyota? Is it going to be a Ford or a Chevy or a, who knows? What, what's it going to be? Am I going to come up with something out the blue? Maybe I'll make a 
uh, Nissan Pathfinder or Trailfinder or what was it called? A Nissan Patrol, right? Maybe you know who knows. What is it gonna be? What's gonna be? LC80, you know, it could be one of those. So many things I could put on this chassis. Anyways, you guys, let me know in the comments what you think it's gonna be. I personally, I'm not, I'm not gonna give you any hints yet. I think some of you guys might already know, anyways, just because you've been watching this long enough. <laughs> um, that being said, uh, if you want, tune in on the next episode. We'll go ahead and open the Trail King and go in depth into this uh, little kit. Let's see what it's all about, man. I'm kind of, kind of curious. I want to see what's going on in there. I want to see how it's boxed up, how it's packaged up in there. All right. Anyways, you guys, I appreciate you all tuning in, hanging out with me. Uh, you know, another episode of Camping with Coleman. I, I'm stoked on this. This is uh, this is going to be a cool thing. I've been wanting to do this build for a while, so that should give you a little bit of a clue. <coughs> <laughs> anyways, my little man, uh, you know, sorry, crashed the party. He just wants to be, you know. He's trying to be a part of the team, man. He's in training. He's trying to be a cameraman. He's trying to be a YouTube guy. He's trying to be a driver. He's trying to be everything under this. And he's taking over. He's in, he's in training to take over the world. I got to oblige. He's out there throwing a fit. My wife's probably got her hands full, so I'm going to go help her out. Um, you guys tune back in. Maybe I'll do a live stream tomorrow. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know what we'll do. I don't know what we'll do. But more videos coming down the road. You want to see this thing? You want me to go through it, unbox it? Um like go through the packaging, things like that, show off some of the parts, let me know. Maybe we can get that going. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff coming. Backyard updates, trail runs, all kinds of things. Subscribe. Don't be a lame. Subscribe. Hit like. And I can't thank A-Main enough. Shout out to A-Main Hobbies. If you guys want to check out their website, the link is in the description down below. Matter of fact, it's always in the description down below. They've been sponsoring my builds for a long time now. So um, go check them out. They have all kinds of cool stuff like this. Guarantee they can help you with your next build. Um, again, thank you to A-Main. And uh, you know what it is. Peace and chicken grease. I'll see you on the flip side. Chee!